Okay, in this video, I want to look at Pareto Logic's PC Health Advisor software. I was looking for some new software to install on my computer. I ran across this and I found a lot of reviews. Uh, most of them talking about how bad a software it is. Um, the thing is that from my experience online and buying a lot of software is that you never really know whether to believe reviews or not. A lot of these reviews come from other companies who are competitors and they try to leave as many bad comments as they can on the internet just so you won't buy that particular product from that company. And so I want to try it out for myself and I want to see if it works or not. Um, if you want to follow along with me you can or if you want to wait till after this demonstration to download it you can do that too but if you want to follow along you can go to www.thepchealthadvisor.com and it should take you to this website right here PC Health Advisor and it's going to tell you a little bit about the software itself um, I downloaded it right here this big red button if you click it it will download a file straight to your computer and once I've done that it put this icon on my desktop so I'm gonna go ahead and install it and hopefully my computer won't blow up you know I, I own several Pareto Logic um, software products and overall I gotta say that I'm really impressed with their software and I've never had issues with them they've all performed very well and one thing I like about their products are that you can download them and and you know kinda of get the feel of it before you ever buy it as if with any product that that you want to um, to work halfway decent you're obviously going to have to pay for it there's a lot of free stuff out there a lot of the free stuff's going to put spyware and viruses and all kinds of stuff on your computer so I definitely don't recommend downloading free products that does this kind of stuff if you want something decent um, Preto Logic has uh, great products and I'm hoping to expect the same thing out of this one so I'm sure as with the other products that I've purchased um, this one here is going to show me a lot of stuff that it can fix, but I'm not going to be able to fix it unless I pay for the product. And I am going to buy it here shortly, and I'm going to walk through the process there. You can see everything that happens, so you'll know uh, what to expect if you download it and use it yourself. So it found here, uh, the scan was really quick. I have a really big hard drive, but I keep my computer pretty clean too. So um, if you haven't done any maintenance on your computer for a long time, it may take a while for it to scan through. As you can see here, it found some registry problems. Uh, privacy files. These are usually just files stored on your computer from the internet. And these files can contain credit card information and other things, purchases that, that, that you made online. And um, what it'll do, it looks like here that it'll clean these privacy files. It'll remove them from your computer. So if you have spyware or something like that, uh, it's a lot less likely that they're going to be able to access that information from your computer active processes um, where you can optimize memory we're going to look at that here in a minute hardware drivers is telling me there are install new drivers so I must have six drivers that are outdated on my computer and I can install those that is a, a really neat feature I don't have that on any other tools that I have as of right now so that's going to come in handy startup processes and malware I, I don't have any malware I got several tools on my computer to make sure I don't have any malware so I'm, I'm glad that didn't find any either okay let's go um, let's see we're not going to fix it yet let me cancel this okay back here at the main page let's look here driver manager okay this is just going to scan for my drivers again to see if there's any outdated we already know that I have six of them process manager this is going to show uh, processes that are currently running on my computer and if you know what you're looking for you can kind of go through here and pick out things and say oh this doesn't need to be running right now so you can kind of pick out something and click in process and it'll help to uh, to speed up your computer performance this just goes and shows you your see this one here is for CPU usage memory usage and page file usage and this here you can see a big leap that's where the software was running through the computer searching for files startup manager okay startup manager this is a really neat tool um, if it takes your computer a long time to boot up chances are it's because you have a lot of files that are trying to load at the same time your computer is booting and in here you can uncheck or I guess delete these startup items and at the moment 
I don't see any in here that I really want to get rid of but chances are if you haven't never done this before um, you're gonna have a big list of files here and a lot of these files are probably gonna be files that don't even have to be on here and you can go through here and check out the ones if you know what they are get rid of them and it's gonna cause your computer to boot up a lot faster file extension manager okay oh this is neat okay let's say um, you have a file and it won't open for some reason let's say it's a PDF file a PDF file is a file that opens with um, Adobe Reader it's, it's a document type file let's see what happens click find software okay get down through here yeah it even shows you here that um, it's supported by Adobe you can learn more about their software it's uh, you can download the Adobe Reader free right here so if there's file extensions you don't know what they are you can put them in here and it'll find the software that will let you open to access that file and you don't have to buy the software to get that either so that's a that, that's a free feature duplicate finder if you want to scan your files for duplicate uh, files what this does lots of times if you install uh, programs over and over or similar products sometimes they'll have the same file in it and it can take up a lot of unnecessary room and this will uh, show you what those are and uh, remove them and defrag defrag will help speed up your computer a lot over time after you install software and you uninstall software uh, it builds up a big collection of files on your computer and then when you delete those files it leaves spaces in your computer and so when your computer has to search for a certain file it has to go over all these spaces trying to find it and it takes it longer because everything's unorganized so when you defrag your hard drive what it does is it reorganizes all these files back together on your computer so it's a lot easier to search through them to find that one file you're looking for I guess you could think of it as like a, a messy office desk trying to find one piece of paper that you need compared to a neat office desk where you know exactly where the paper's at. Okay, so that's um, this here is the home. Let's go to optimize. Let's go back. Okay, we went through process manager, startup manager, browser object manager. These are plugins for your browser. A lot of browsers use additional plugins to help you um, give you additional features and um, you can see here where you can disable a lot of them so we got like um, okay like Skype and this one I can disable these plugins or I can enable them and sometimes this will help uh, speed up your browsers lots of times it may take them a while to boot up like I use Firefox a lot and I have a lot of uh, um, extensions and plugins for them and unless I disable a lot of them it takes forever for it to load up Okay, optimize Windows, optimize the speed of your computer by removing unwanted processes and tweaking settings. Okay, these are just some settings. Driver manager, we've been through that already. File extension manager, let's go to disk. Back. Okay, we've done that. Restore point manager. Okay, this just shows you when your last restore points were and you can create new ones. Um, you can restore from previous points so if your if your computer crashes or something and you're able to boot back up you can select one of these and restore it pretty cool so defrag clear temporary files okay um, these here will clear out all your all your history files all of your search files anything that you do on the internet through your browsers if you uh, hit these two buttons here it's going to delete all those files so okay that's cleared out and that's cleared out which I, I probably cleared them out here just a while ago that's why it was so fast but if you don't want people knowing where you're going on the internet or or if um, or if you haven't done this for a long time it can also slow down the process of your browser so it's a good idea to clear these out once in a while okay and under settings we've got general settings okay I'm not going to go through all these right now this would take too long and I can't make this video over 15 minutes per YouTube so okay we can schedule this registry settings um, things you want scanned during the registry scan it's your privacy settings okay these are if you check mark these boxes these are what's going to be included when it searches to delete your uh, browser information 
Um, you can schedule your defrag, ignore settings, um, okay, not sure what that is. Driver update, we know what that is. Home page settings. Okay, this is pretty neat. If there are certain things used a lot more than others, it looks like you can just pick them up, drag them, and put them where you want them so you can have your most popular settings on your home page. And scan settings. Which one of these you want scanned? I recommend probably keeping all these scanned whenever you run your scan. So, Okay, so that's um, we just went through all of these. And I'm going to run through the scan real quick. Last time it only took just a minute. It should be faster this time since it's already went through it. And then I'm going to click Fix All, and I'm going to go purchase this product. And hopefully it will. Um, hopefully it won't destroy my computer, blow it up, or anything like that. You know, you read some things online about some of these uh, software tools, and you just wonder what in the world. You know, is that really true about them? So um, most of the time it's not true. Um, like I said earlier, lots of times it's just competitors who are out there trying to give a bad name to a certain product so people don't buy it. So I'm going to pause this video just for a second while this finishes because I've only got a couple minutes left and then I'm going to purchase it and fix all and see what happens. Okay, it's done scanning. I'm going to click fix all. Okay, it's determined that there's see there's 294 items necessary to register your software. Okay, I don't recommend calling. You you can call them. They're going to help you with your problems, but they're also going to try to sell you other products. So if if you're going to register your software, I recommend doing it over the internet and uh, instead of calling them. So it's going to take me to this page where I enter my information, and for privacy reasons, it's probably going to be blurred out on your screen. Okay, submit. PC Health Advisor Online Special Only in Saturday, January 14th. Um, usually this is just kind of a sales pitch. Um, if you buy this product two years from now, this is probably still going to be on here. Um, they just kind of do that as an urgency to get you to buy it. So I only want it for one. And I'm going to pay through my PayPal account. Include protection against spyware and adware. I've already got stuff for spyware and adware, so I'm not going to use that. If you don't have any kind of protection against adware and spyware, I recommend you add that to it. Um, only ten dollars more. That's that's a great deal. But uh, like I said, I've already got it, so I'm going to I want to pause this video and go ahead and go through the purchase process. I'll be back in just a second. Okay, I just made the purchase. I'm going to enter my license key, and no, you're not going to be able to see that key. Click OK. Thank you, your license has been successfully registered. Okay, and let's go back to home and let's go to fix all. Okay, it says please wait while PC Health Advisor cleans your items. All right, this may take a few minutes. Um, it's gonna have to download the drivers and, and fix all these items. So I've only got a little over a minute left on this video. So I'm gonna pause it until it's done and, uh, and we'll see what happens. Okay, here's a pop-up box. It says, PC Health Advisors clean your registry, startup, active processes, and privacy items. Outdated drivers have been identified. Would you like to proceed to the driver manager page to download and install new drivers? I'm going to click yes. To finish cleaning, the system needs to be rebooted. Would you like to reboot now? No. Okay, so I can go here and, and uh, download each of these, which I'm going to do right now. So I'll be back in just a second. Okay, so I downloaded some of the drivers. I didn't download all of them just yet. One of them was over. Um, it was close to like 200 megs downloaded, so I will do that here after a while. Um, but overall, I, I didn't see no issues with this. And one thing you see with a lot of products like this is that when they do a scan, they bring up a lot of fake files. You know, pull up a lot of fake files and show you that you got this problem, this problem with your computer when you really don't. And I didn't see none of that with these. I actually went in the files and looked. And all the files that it showed were files that could be corrected, um, things that could be improved to make my computer run faster or better or start up faster. So overall, as with all of Predologic's products, I really like it. Um, I do recommend it. Um, if you want to check it out, you can download it at thepchealthadvisor.com. You should be able to see that on your screen. Just go there. Um, you can read more about it. You can download it. Check it out yourself. And uh, leave a comment below and tell me what you think. Thanks.